They say it's better to give than to receive, which honestly is a pretty terrible negotiation strategy. But for tasks like loan disbursement or cash advances, it's important. Your customers want money and they want it quickly. And Plaid can make that happen with Plaid Transfer, Plaid's all-in-one solution for moving money. Most transfers can be categorized into three use cases, customers sending money to you, you sending money to them, and you facilitating transfers between two users. Transfer supports all three, but for this video, we're gonna focus on the second type. To get started with transfer, you'll create a ledger balance with us. This balance will contain the funds you'll be using for outgoing transfers. You can add funds to this ledger balance automatically when it hits certain minimums, or you can do it manually through the Plaid dashboard or an API call. Keep in mind that adding funds to your ledger balance typically takes three days, so give yourself plenty of buffer here. Next, ask your user to create a link token like normal and make sure to include transfer in the products array. This ensures Plaid has the information it needs to send funds to their account. Have your user complete the regular link process. You can then fetch information about the user's accounts by calling accounts get. This will include, among other information, an internal ID that Plaid uses to identify this account. Now for sending money, Plaid supports ACH, the classic network for moving money between banks, but it also supports FedNow and RTP, two new real-time payment methods for instant payouts. So at this point, call transfer capabilities get with the account ID you want to send money to and look at the response object you get back. If the value here is true, and it will be for the majority of your customers, it means you can send instant payouts using a real-time payment network. So when you're ready to send your customers money, create a transfer authorization by calling transfer authorization create. Include the access token, account ID, and item potency key to make sure you don't make this payment more than once, and the amount. Specify the type as credit, and the network type as either ACH or RTP, depending on if this account supports real-time payments. If you are using ACH, you'll also need to add the ACH class, but otherwise leave this value as null add a user object where you list the user's legal name. When you get back the authorization response, take a look at the value of this decision field here. If it's declined, it's most likely because you don't have enough funds in your ledger balance. Now, if you're in Sandbox, you can't add money through the dashboard. Instead, you'll need to simulate a deposit using these four calls. This one here to simulate a deposit, these two to update the deposit status, and this one here to simulate the passage of time. But if you do have enough funds in your ledger, the response usually comes back as approved and you'll receive an authorization ID. Now create the transfer by calling transfer create, passing along the authorization ID, as well as the access token, account ID, amount, a short description, and any metadata you feel like associating with the payment. At this point, your payment is marked as pending, meaning that it's in Plaid system, and Plaid will remove those funds from your ledger's balance. Plaid will then send the request off to the network, and your payment will be marked as posted. Sometime after that, the transfer is marked as settled, which means the user will see the transaction in their account, and it will be available to spend shortly, depending on their bank. The timing of all this depends on the network you're using. If you're using ACH, the entire transfer can take one to three business days depending on ACH windows. If you're using instant payouts, this will happen, well, instantly. Ooh, that was fast. To keep track of the changes that are happening with your transfers, call Transfer Event Sync. This will give you a full list of events sequentially ordered across all your transfers. Each event has an ID, which you can use in future calls to make sure you only receive new events moving forward. And all this information is also available through the Plaid dashboard. There you can see the history of every transfer, manage your ledger, and change the status of your sandbox transfers to make testing and development easier. And of course, all these actions are also available in the Plaid API if, you know, GUIs aren't your thing. This has been Plaid Transfer in a little over three minutes. To find out more about Transfer, make sure to check out the documentation, and hey, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting videos like this one. Now let's go give away some money, you Santa Claus wannabe.